Hello everybody, welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty. I haven't been able to get these videos up because my throat hasn't been up for voiceovers, but I think I can get it done today, um, even though I'm not 100%. But I am here with a layout process video as part of the Counterfeit Kit Challenge design team, and our whole December project this time around is to use sketches. So I have a sketch for you, and uh, let's go ahead and dive into this project. So I'll pop that sketch up into the corner. Now it is an eight and a half by 11 sketch, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make it work for me today on a 12 by 12 layout. And I'm going to use four by six photos instead of two smaller photos. And those four by six photos are further divided up into um, four photos each. So I have a total of eight photos going on this layout. I did pull out a few supplies that I think I was going to use. Now the sketch has a lot of hearts on it, but I am going to switch that out for a snowflake icon. And then down at the bottom uh, where there should be another heart border, I'm going to use a little house icon. So I'm going to create it for a wintry kind of Christmassy story. And I'm going to do that here with stamping. Now <laughs> The first uh, color choice I used here did not show up over um, the blue, so I had to switch up my purples to a deeper shade. I probably could have gotten away with using that lighter purple as the background snowflake instead, but I didn't really think it through ahead of time. So switching gears, I am using this lighter shade of purple to kind of fill in the spaces with a little bit more stamping around everything else and a bit of a border with the word Merry Christmas from this stamp set. And this stamp set is from Hero Arts and it's my favorite snowflake stamp set. I just love the imagery on this one. Now for this border down here below, I'm going to do some second generation stamping, which means I will either go ahead and stamp directly onto my project and then stamp again the second time on another area of my project. Or I might stamp that excess ink off on a scratch piece of paper first, like you saw me just do, and then go ahead and stamp that second generation on my project. And that is gonna take the three color ink pads that I have and really turn them into six colors because you get a dark tone and a light tone out of each ink pad. So if you're not used to stamping on your layouts, I hope these give you just a couple of ideas of ways that you can use some stamping. Uh, to create your projects. All right, here is a little bit of a close-up of the finished look at that stamping. And then we're gonna go ahead and start building up the other zones for this layout. Now my photo zone in the sketch had a kind of a paper mat behind it, but my photos are too big to do that. And you'll see me try to play around with the idea of getting a paper mat back there. But even when I cut my paper down smaller and I'll go yet smaller again, um, it is still covering up too much of that stamping that I just did. And I want that stamping to show up because I just spent the time to do it. And here is my final attempt at using just strips to um, let the stamping peek through, but it's just too busy that way. So I switch gears entirely and I pull out some yellow paper to map my photos. And that's, I used yellow because it was in the supplies that I had pulled out, but also there is a little bit of yellow lighting in the background of some of these photos. So I pulled that color. And then the other color that I wanted to pull out um, was a little bit of red in the photos. And since Christmas colors are red and green, that's pretty easy to replicate here. So I am using a few Few chipboard pieces and a few um, die cut ephemera pieces and I believe all of that stuff is from a really old hip kit club. Now the final step of this layout was a little bit of a um, drawn border around the edge and I should have drawn that border uh, first before I started layering stuff up on top of it so I will have to kind of go around these layers but I make it work. I cut down a, another sheet of pattern paper to 11 inches by 11 inches and I'm just tracing around it and then kind of offsetting it a little bit and I'll save that piece of paper for another project at some other time. All right, and then with just a few embellishments in place, I'm gonna call this layout done. So if you want to join Counterfeit Kit Challenge over on our Facebook group, you can play along with all the sketches we have this month. I believe we have 12 total sketches for you. And um, if you want to download my particular sketch, I actually created that one and it's available over on my blog and all the links to get to all these resources will be in this description for you 
down below. So thank you for joining me and I hope you have an artful day.